Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to look at several interesting small Russian telescopes. Okay, this is the 3PT-457. No idea, no idea who the manufacturer is. Didn't see anything that was recognizable here. These little latches on this thing, oh, man, those are strange. Okay, so inside here we have some specifications and some instructions and an inspection. This is about a 70 millimeter telescope. Okay, so here you have the oddball little thing. It's got a flip up um, finder on it. Here's the focus. It's all very, very nice and smooth. This is stuff. Let's Put this away. Yeah, we've got this uh, tripod. The tripod, by the way, can be extended if you want. Comes up quite a ways. And so you can extend it quite a ways up if you want. I'm not going to put it up that high, but you get the idea. This slides on there. Very comparable to a Zeiss. Zeiss man, some of their scopes like that. So this goes on there. Now this is very is it swings very freely, very nicely. So there's that. And it's not balanced right until you put this on. This has got a little feel on it like that. Oops. Obviously I've got it upside down. That. Okay, so now we're all set. And this um, features, this is your focusing device here, features an image erecting system with both 30 power and 60 power. And you change the power there. The mount is very well made. You can set the tension a little bit. Same here, adjust the tension a little bit. Not too bad. Okay, here's a close-up of the image erecting system with the powers. 30 power there, change it there to 60 power. Here's the focus. Here's the little flip-up aiming device. Okay, this mount, this just holds it on there onto the uh, assembly there. And then this, you can loosen it for like so, and you can tighten it here for azimuth. Cute little thing, isn't it? This is the Lomo Estelle 70. Cute little Maksutov telescope. Maksutov, the uh, word Maksutov actually is the name of the fellow who is credited with discovering this or developing this kind of telescope. And you can see that it's got a curved, it's called a meniscus in the front piece of glass, curved inward, and then it's got a mirror in the back. Um, and you probably can't see it, but it's moving the back mirror just a little tiny amount to focus. So that's a Max Hutov. You'll notice that this particular is a 70 millimeter, so it's kind of small. But notice the cute little uh, peep scope finder on this, and the, the front element even has a it's, there's no optics in there, it's just got a little circle in there in the circle. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the Lomo company makes very, very high quality products. And many, almost every Russian optic that I've ever seen has always been really high quality in terms of the optics. Often kind of strange and a little bizarre. And where in the world did they get the idea to put a map of the stars? They may have gotten it from this. I'm not sure who was first. I'm pretty sure that the uh, Questar was first to do that. Anyway, the Lomo 70 is a very cute, charming little Maksutov telescope. This is a Maksutov, a Gregorian Maksutov. It's got the same kind of meniscus as a typical Maksutov, except it's curved the other way. And that makes it work as an image erecting system. So it doesn't need any additional optics inside there. This is only 40 millimeters, but boy is it cute. And you can tell how small it is. It fits in a pocket. It's, uh, 
Let's contrast that with this one. You think this one is small. This is the Little Mac, and boy is it tiny. Okay, this is a 10x 30 millimeters, so it's 30 millimeters in aperture. Most of that aperture, if you can, you can, I'm sure you can see that, most of the aperture is soaked up by the reflective spot, so the only place light is going in is around that. Anyway, it's, uh, but it still works pretty darn well, and it's just as cute as it can be, and of course, it has the nice little map of the stars on it. This little telescope, believe it or not, is a real working telescope uh, made by the Tau Telescope Company. Uh, Lomo and Tau are two of the more famous makers of telescopes in Russia. Uh, anyhow, this is a, a replica, more or less a replica. It's a Newtonian reflector and it's not a perfect replica. First of all, I don't know if you can see down the tube there, but there's a little mirror in the back and a little secondary on the stock, and there's a, a working eyepiece This is in a, there. a model, a replica of the original made by Isaac Newton in 1668. Um, and it's not quite correct. This thing back here, that should turn to focus and the back part of this thing should move. It doesn't work that way with this little telescope. This replica focuses by sliding that forward and backwards. No big deal. It still it is a very good replica in all of the respects. The mounting is exactly the way Isaac Newton himself did it. And the aperture, this is a pretty good scale model. I mean, it's, it's an exact scale kind of a replica. This is a very strange and odd and unknown uh, 60 millimeter Russian refractor. Ignore the wobbliness of the mount. I've got it on a temporary thing here to hold it up. It would have come with a nice steel uh, pier of some sort. Anyway, it's extremely, as all Russian things, extremely robust, very strong, overbuilt in many respects. Charming and interesting um, 16 millimeter, about f10, about a 600 millimeter focal length, which is a little unusual. And the the mount, although it's typically Russian and kind of primitive, it's built like a tank. This could have gone on a tank. The focuser is nice and big and robust. Quite overbuilt for a 60 millimeter. Um, the little star diagonal here is quite unusual. It's a mirror type star diagonal. It's oversized for some reason. Don't know quite what happens with that. The peep scope finder here is really interesting. I'll give you a close up of that. It's very um, quite um, sort of fancy and overbuilt. Now, let me show you this thing. This is set up for a solar screen. It may have had a longer bolt that went on there, but here's a just a, a piece of white paper on a, on a kind of a board, and you could project the image of the sun onto this thing. So you got that right. So now you've got a solar viewing outfit. With this. Very strange, very interesting and odd. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these wonderful little Russian telescopes. Thank you very much for watching.